John. Uh, thanks a lot, Sarah. Steve Bannon, the former chief strategist for the president, uh, in the next few weeks will likely come before uh, the special counsel's office to submit to an interview with the special counsel's office. Will the president be invoking executive privilege to prevent any part of his testimony? Uh, I can't speak to the specifics of that. I, I can tell you that the White House has been fully cooperative and will continue to do so. The, the privilege of the executive privilege is one that only the president can invoke. And as you may recall, he did not invoke it for when former FBI director James Comey testified before the Senate Intelligence Committee. As you've mentioned many times, the president has mentioned many times, there is no collusion. Uh, what, I'm why- I'm glad you guys are starting to echo that too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if you why, could say it more and more when you're uh, on your networks, that'd be really helpful. Why, why would the president uh, want to invoke executive privilege? After all, he didn't do so for the former FBI director. Look, I'm not going to walk through hypothetical conversations or negotiate with you guys. That's something that the attorneys are going to do. Uh, I can tell you, once again, the White House will remain and continue to be fully cooperative with the special counsel and allow them to work through their process. Yeah. 